The next stage of the examination is palpation. Palpate the spinous processes for tenderness and deviation. Alternatively, briskly tap over the spinous processes for tenderness. Palpate the trachea to determine whether its position is central and with one finger gently feel its position at the sternal notch. The trachea may be displaced laterally. Fibrosis pulls the mediastinum towards the lesion. Similarly, a collapsed lung pulls the mediastinum towards the lesion. Pneumothorax pushes the mediastinal contents away from the lesion. Likewise, a large effusion will push the mediastinum away from the lesion. Next, we feel for the supraclavicular lymph nodes. Elevating the shoulders may assist you in the palpation of the supraclavicular fossa. Then place the flat of your hand on the left thoracic wall to feel for the apex bead. This is palpated at the fifth intercostal space in the mid-clavicular line. Enlargement of the heart causes a displacement of the apex bead. To locate the apex bead, we palpate in the fifth intercostal space in the mid-clavicular line. That is two, three, four, five. The mid-clavicular line would run down like so. And this is where we palpate for the apex bead. If you are unable to feel the apex bead, then you can get the patient to lean forward. Now let's assess chest expansion. Place your stretched out fingers over the chest wall with both thumbs just touching each other at the midline. Ask the patient to take a deep breath, ensuring that you allow your hands to move with the chest wall as they inspire. Assess whether the movement is symmetrical by looking how your thumbs move away from the midline. A reduced chest expansion on one or both sides signifies an underlying pathology. If this is unilateral, this may signify a pleural effusion, pneumothorax, pneumonia, or a collapsed lung. If expansion is reduced bilaterally, then this may signify advanced lung fibrosis, severe airflow obstruction, or musculoskeletal problems such as ankylosing spondylitis. Now check for tactile vocal fremitus. Vocal fremitus is a transmission of vibration through the chest wall. Place the flat of your hands or their ulna borders firmly on the chest wall and ask the patient to say out loud 99-99-99 or 1-1-1. One, 99-99-99 one, one. And once more. 99-99-99. Now lift up your arms for me. Hold them there. And again. 99 99, 99. Thank you. Put them down now. Huh? And the same. 99, 99, 99. 99, 99, 99. The basic principle here is that the transmission of sound is increased in consolidation, such as lobar pneumonia, or when it contains a large cavity near the surface, as in the lung abscess. Vocal fremitus is decreased in those with soft voice, in obstructed bronchus, in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, pleural effusion, fibrosis, pneumothorax, or an infiltrating tumor. A thick chest wall also causes reduced fremitus.